Next, let us consider issue of debentures for consideration other than cash. Issue of debentures for consideration other than cash. Issue of debentures to vendors. Purchase of assets. When assets are purchased, there is the value of the assets on one side and there is the purchase consideration on the other side. If the value of assets taken over and the purchase consideration are same, then the entry is very simple. We debit the assets taken over, assets account debit to the vendor with the amount which is due. But it is possible that sometimes the value of the assets that we get is actually more and the purchase consideration is less. If the purchase consideration, this means that the amount we are paying is less. The company, the amount that we as a company are paying is less. The value of the assets is more. The company has made a profit and this would be capital result. Similarly, if the value of the assets is not much, it is lower while the purchase consideration is more. That means if the purchase consideration is higher, the value we are paying is more, then we are paying this extra amount on account of goodwill. So this is one part where we need to know whether there is any goodwill or capital reserve. If the purchase consideration is higher, goodwill will arise. If purchase consideration is lower, we make a profit and capital reserve will arise. Next, this purchase consideration which is to be paid to the vendor is settled by the issue of debentures. These debentures may be issued at par, premium or discount. So in order to find out the number of debentures to be issued, we divide the purchase consideration by the issue price of the debentures, by the issue price of a debenture. And we arrive at the number of debentures to be issued. Once we know the number of debentures to be issued, the accounting entry becomes simple. Vendor account debit to debentures to securities premium if the debentures are issued at a premium. Discount on issue of debentures account debit if the debentures are being issued at a discount. Let us take a look at the accounting entries. On purchase of the assets, sundry assets account debit with the book value, to sundry liabilities with book value, to vendor account with the purchase consideration, to capital reserve. Let us take an example. Suppose we take a business with sundry assets amounting to 10 lakhs. Let us say this business also had liabilities of 2 lakhs. So basically, the value of the net assets that we get is 10 lakh minus 2 lakh, 8 lakh. But let us say that we pay the vendor, the purchase consideration we have decided is only 7 lakh. So for we are paying 7 lakh for net assets worth 8 lakh, the remaining 1 lakh would be profit or capital result. Therefore, sundry assets account debit with the value at which we are taking over to sundry liabilities with the value of the liabilities we are taking over to vendor account with the purchase consideration decided. Any difference is either credited to the capital reserve or debited to the goodwill account. So, in this particular case, if we take sundry assets of 10 lakh to sundry liabilities 2 lakh. But suppose our purchase consideration was actually 10 lakhs. We paid 10 lakh for net assets of 8 lakh. There is a goodwill amount of 2 lakh. 
Therefore, in simple terms, assets account debit with the amount with the value at which we are taking over the assets. Two liabilities, the value at which we take over the liabilities. Two vendors account with the purchase consideration decided above. And balancing figure, if there is any difference, if it is to be credited, it would be credited to the capital reserve account. If it's to be debited, we debit it to the goodwill account. Once the entry on takeover of the business or purchase of assets is passed, next we need to compute the number of debentures to be issued. That is purchase consideration divided by the issue price of a debenture. Issue price may be 100 if it is at par, may be 110 if it is a premium, may be 95 if it is at a discount. This would give us the actual number of debentures. Number of debentures into face value will give us the amount by which debentures is to be credited. Number of debentures into premium, securities premium, will give us the amount of premium on issue. Number of debentures into the discount amount would tell us the discount on issue of debentures. So when debentures are issued at par to the vendor, Entry becomes vendor's account debit to debentures. If they are at a premium, it's vendor's account debit to debentures to securities premium. And in case it is at a discount, it is vendor account debit with the purchase consideration. Discount on issue of debentures account debit to debentures. Let us consider a few examples. X Limited acquired a business consisting of assets worth 12 lakh and liabilities worth 2 lakh from Y Limited for purchase consideration of 11 lakh. The consideration was settled by the issue of 9% debentures of 100 each. Past journal entries in the books of X Limited. So first, X Limited has taken a business assets worth 12 lakh, liabilities of 2 lakh, but purchase consideration 11 lakh. So let us say sundry assets account debit. The amount is 12 lakh. Two sundry liabilities. The amount is 2 lakh. To purchase consideration is 11 lakh. That means we have agreed to pay Y limited 11 lakh. There is a gap or difference of 1 lakh. We are paying 11 lakhs for net assets of 10 lakhs. Therefore, the remainder is goodwill. If an account needs to be debited, it would be goodwill. If it has to be credited, it would be capital reserve. 1 lakh. Now the journal entry has tallied assets 12 lakh, goodwill 1 lakh, to sundry liabilities 2 lakh, to Y limited 11 lakh. Now what do we give this vendor? Y limited is issued 9% debentures of 100 each. So how many debentures? You have to give him 11 lakh divided by, this is the purchase consideration divided by issue price of rupees 100, issue price giving us 11,000 debentures. So what is the entry? Y limited account debit. The purchase consideration is 11 lakh to be settled. to debentures, 9% debentures. 11,000 debentures into 100 each. That is 11 lakh. Let us consider another example. Where X Limited acquired the business of assets of 12 lakh, liabilities of 2 lakh, purchase consideration 9 now is 9 lakh. And the consideration is settled by the issue of 9% debentures of 100 each at a discount of 10%. So what is the entry? For taking off, taking over assets, sundry assets account debit. This is 12 lakh. Two sundry liabilities, the different assets take assets and liabilities taken over 
this is again 2 lakh and what is how much is the purchase concentration what is the amount we owe to y limited it is 9 lakh here we have made a profit of 1 lakh to capital reserve would be 1 lakh this is the first entry for purchase consideration next we issue debentures what is the purchase consideration to be settled purchase consideration to be settled is 9 lakh how are they settled they are settled by the issue of 9% debentures at a discount of 10% so what is the issue price of a debenture it is 90 therefore we would be issuing 10000 debentures what is the entry for issue of 10,000 debentures of face value of 100 discount of 10? That is simple. Why limited account debit? We have to pay 9 lakh to debentures. To debentures would be 10,000 debentures into face value 100. That is 10 lakhs. And the remaining is discount therefore discount on issue of debentures account debit what is the amount it is 10,000 into 10 which is the amount of discount 10,000 into 10 is 1 lakh why limited account debit 9 lakh Discount on issue of debentures 1 lakh to debentures 10 lakh. Next, X Limited acquired machinery of 10 lakh for from Y Limited purchase consideration of 11 lakh. So obviously we are paying more, there is an amount of goodwill. The consideration was settled by the issue of 9% debentures of 100 each at a premium of 10%. Past journal entries in the books of X. So what is our first entry? Let us take machinery account debit. It is 10 lakhs. But purchase consideration is 11 lakh. Therefore, the balance is goodwill account debit 1 lakh. 2. Y limited, it is 11 lakh. And what is Y limited being given? Y limited would be given debentures of 100 each at a premium of 10%. So how do you find out the number of debentures? Purchase consideration by issue price. What is the purchase consideration? It is 11 lakh. What is the issue price? It is 110 Therefore, we are talking of 10,000 debentures. So, what is the entry for that? Y limited account debit to 9% debentures how many? This is 10,000 debentures into 100 is the face value 10 lakh to securities premium 10,000 debentures into 10 each that is 1 lakh and why limited is settled for 11.